Hello YouTube, it's Raphael here and I'm going to be creating a Python program that calculates Celsius to Fahrenheit and vice versa. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. I'm using PyCharm for this tutorial. Create that and save it wherever you want to. I'm going to call this temperature calculator or whatever you want to call it. Create that and we're going to create a new virtual environment. Now as this is setting up, make sure you have the formula so you can simply get this formula as you search it up and we're going to also do Fahrenheit to Celsius so this is the formula for the other way around and this will be important for when we are coding so simply leave your web browser open when you get the formula go ahead and go back to your PyCharm and we're going to um, click the drop down arrow and right click VENV and create a new Python file Obviously, the name doesn't matter, but make sure the name ends with the file extension .py. And we're going to go ahead and click Python file and press enter. Now, here is where the formula comes in handy. So, we're going to go ahead and create a comment. And this will be uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. Just so we don't have any confusion. That'll, that's how it will go. But we are going to go ahead and get the formula first so it's going to be down here and this will be list one equals and we'll have a few values for Fahrenheit maybe two five six and ten perhaps obviously you can choose whatever number you wish but now we can go ahead and do conversion result equals and now this is where the formula comes in handy so we're gonna do two square brackets and we're going to do two brackets and what does the formula again? It was 9 divided by 5 times whatever value of Celsius bracket plus 32. So we're going to go ahead and do 9 divided by 5 um, bracket times um, temperature plus 32 as it says we have to add 32 and then we're going to do space and then go to four temperature oops in list one now this has to match so if I'm going to go conversion result equals the formula times whatever temperature however whatever you call this you don't have to really call them temperature you can say like you can put them X for example if you want to or any other variable name but I'm just gonna call my temperature just to distinguish but you guys have to make sure that it matches completely. There cannot be any typos and there cannot be any capital letters. It is case sensitive. If your thing is all caps, then this also has to be all capital letters. This, it matters in a lot of programming languages as well. It is very case sensitive. But there we go. So it's going to take four temperature in list one, which is this list over here. And now we can print out the conversion results. So do print. Um, conversion result and we can go ahead um, and go click run if you're on a Mac it will be probably up here C click run and then click calc because that is what we called our Python file and as you see list one we converted it from Celsius to Fahrenheit so the results are 35.6 41.0 42.8 and 50 to confirm that we are correct, we can simply take these results and go ahead and enter them all in Google. So Celsius to Fahrenheit is 2, is 35.6, and we could 2, and the result is 35.6. We can do 5, it's 41.0. Um, since we are doing floats, it will, you'll see the point zero at the end, but they are the same value, 41. 6 is 42.8, as you can see here. And, and so forth. So you, you get the idea completely. Let's go ahead and now do um, the other way around. So Fahrenheit to Celsius. This will be list 2 this time. And we are going to call this uh, negative 4, 50, 68, and 94.1. Now, once again, you don't have to really worry too much about what numbers I put. Put whatever value you wish. But we're going to go ahead and do... Uh, conversion second result I just want to distinguish the variable names equals and now we're going to go ahead instead of Celsius to Fahrenheit we are doing F 
Fahrenheit Celsius. So go ahead and bring up your second tab. And you can see our formula is much different. So it goes 32. Well, this is the value. So Fahrenheit value minus 32 bracket times 5 divided by 9 or 5 over 9. And we're going to go ahead and put that in here. So put that in and do two brackets again. And this time we're going to call it temp just for short minus 32. Um, times and what was it again? It was 5 over 9 space 4 temp in list 2 and once again we can go ahead and print okay so go click run Okay, so we can actually distinguish this. So let's go ahead and look at what we got. So we did just ignore the, the top. This is for Celsius. Okay, so we can distinguish this by um, putting in a string. So I'm going to do the conversion result for, uh, cell, for Fahrenheit. Uh, I'll do Celsius is. So since we don't want this to be confusing, let's go ahead and uh, copy paste this exact string, but this time I'm going to put it in the Fahrenheit one. So Fahrenheit is We can go ahead and run it again And there we go. So let's go ahead and check if our results are correct. So What do we put we did negative 4 right so negative 4 and that is negative 20 that is correct We can do uh, 50 it says 10 so we go and go ahead and check and that is correct so that is it, we have built a temperature conversion program in Python. So the formulas are important, like I said, so make sure you bring those up. And it's very simple, only requires two lines of code. Well, plus a third one if you want to actually print out the results. But that is simply it. So thank you very much for watching. If this helped you out, leave a like and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next programming tutorial.